Hi guys, are you ready to do our writing lesson for today? We've been talking about personal narratives. Remember, personal narratives are um, stories about ourselves, okay? So we are going to write true stories, things that have really happened to us. We are not gonna use our imagination this time. Imaginations are wonderful, but when you write a personal narrative, you wanna use things that are real, okay? Today, I'm going to write a sentence about going to um, the pumpkin patch with my daughters, okay? So, the first thing I like to do is I like to draw my picture. <clears throat> Here, remember, we're using our shapes to draw our people. You guys will get to color yours. Mrs. Diver can't color mine on my board, but... Now, I don't know if you remember, I told you guys that Kelsey and Kara, I'm doing a quick sketch because I know this takes a long time for you guys to have to sit and watch Mrs. Diver draw a picture. Um, I told you that Kelsey and Kara were twins. Okay. And here we are, the three of us. And... We went to the pumpkin patch. Do you guys know how to draw a pumpkin? Pumpkins can be all different kinds of shapes, can't they? Oh, they got pumpkins that were kind of round. My pumpkin that I picked out was tall and skinny. So I'm going to write a sentence. I went to the pumpkin patch with Kelsey and Kara. 10 words, you guys have to write 10 whole words. So when we do our writing, we want to stretch out all the sounds that we can, okay? Don't worry about if you're spelling the word right. You wanna make sure you have the beginning sound, any sounds in the middle of the word, and the ending sound right, okay? So we're gonna write down everything we hear. I, I was a sight word this week, so I'm going to use my sight word and I know that it is a capital because whenever I is by itself in a sentence and it's a word, it's a capital letter, right? I, finger space, went, wah, 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 eh, 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 and do you guys see how I stretched that word out? I went, I wrote every sound that I heard, right? That's what I want you guys to work on. I went to, t, 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 t. are you using your finger spaces? Oh, good. To, now the is a tricky word. It's a sight word and I do know how to spell it. So when you learn your sight words, you can spell them from memory because some words you just can't sound out, can you? And then we want to go back and check. Reread. I went to the pumpkin. Oh, I forgot my P. Pumpkin. 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 Patch. At. Patch. With. With. Oh, I ran out of space. I'm going to have to write it down below. Who did I go with again, you guys? I went with Kelsey and Kara. I'm going to make one more line right here. I went 
to the pumpkin patch with Kelsey. I know how to spell their names. And Kara. And I always put a period at the end. Good job, you guys. Okay, so let's review. Pictures first with details. You guys make sure that you're coloring your picture, right? And then we say our sentence, count the words, start with a capital, spaces in between all of our words, right? Write every sound you hear, and we end with a period. Okay, you guys, I hope you do a great job writing your personal narrative today. Keep up with the work. Bye.